All right, now Samsung has started rolling out an all new update for its incredible application called One Hand Operation Plus, which enables us to set tons of gesture actions using which we can control the phone in just one hand easily and conveniently. If you are new to Samsung, this is the application you should check out. This is going to be really useful in your day to day life. Now, let's check out the change log here. As you can see, the update has arrived on 14th September 2022, and the version number here is 5.6.2. 5.0 and in the change log it says improve floating navigation buttons feature apply theme color on quick tools and they have also fixed duplicate vibration issue other stability improvements as well now the first two changes i'm going to show you here it says improve floating navigation buttons feature now here on the right hand side i've got the s22 ultra where i have updated this application and on the left hand side i have got the note 20 ultra where we have the previous version of one hand operation plus application now here i've set the floating navigation button on both these phones on swipe diagonally down gesture on the right handle. Let me just swipe down diagonally on the right handle. As you can see, we have got the floating navigation buttons here. Instantly, you will see a difference here. On the newer version, it looks smaller and on the previous version, it is pretty big. This is the change we have or this is the improvement we have with this all new update. It is smaller and it is easier to reach. It is easier to handle and probably that is the reason why they have made it a bit smaller than before. Not a major change though, but uh, usability wise, yes, of course it may make some sense. You let me know what do you think about it. Now the second one says apply theme color on quick tools. Now this quick tools is a quick action menu using which we can quickly turn on or off Wi-Fi, sound mode, Bluetooth, auto rotation, open notification panel, screenshot, screen off, etc. Even torch can be turned on. Basically all those quick toggles will be placed right here on the quick tools menu and we can quickly act access it using just one hand. We don't really have to swipe the phone to open the quick panel. Just set this gesture for quick tools and open it up using just your thumb. Now in the change log it says apply theme color on quick tools. The theme colors were getting applied on the quick tools even on the previous version of this application as you can see the theme colors are applied here. Whereas on the newer version, the theme colors are applied, but the background is pretty darker on some of the theme colors. Looks like there is a minor improvement. It is offering us a darker background when we apply the color palettes. By the way, talking about color palettes, I will be posting a video on a comparison between the color palettes on One UI 4.1 and One UI 5.0. I will show you whether anything has changed or improved on One UI 5.0 when it comes to color palettes application on the system. Stay tuned for that video and if you are interested in knowing your phone better, be sure you subscribe to the channel and if you find this video useful, go ahead and smash that like button as well. Now these are the changes or improvements we have with this update. Go ahead and check out this application and do start using it. It is going to be really useful guys. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye bye.